DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is the hereditary material present in humans and almost all other organisms. Today, we are going to talk about DNA. This is a double helix structure of a DNA molecule. Most of the DNA is located in the nucleus where it is called nuclear DNA. A small amount of DNA can also be found in the mitochondria where it is called mitochondrial DNA. In a bacterial cell, DNA freely floats in the cytoplasm. A DNA molecule contains the instructions in the form of codes which an organism needs to grow, live and reproduce. These instructions are found in each and every cell except the red blood cells and are passed down from parents to their children. A parent and a child shares about 99.5% DNA. About 99% of DNA is similar in all humans. The remaining 1% is the difference in the bases which is enough to differentiate between two separate individuals. The double helix model of DNA structure was suggested by James D. Watson and Francis Crick in 1953. They received a Nobel Prize for this contribution. DNA is a long double chain mixed polymer of several hundred thousand deoxyribonucleotides placed end to end in two rows held together by hydrogen bonds. DNA has two unbranched complementary strands which are spirally coiled and these two spiral strands are collectively called double helix. Just like proteins having amino acids as their building blocks, DNA have nucleotides as their building blocks. Each nucleotide molecule has three parts. A nitrogenous base, a sugar molecule, and a phosphate molecule. First of all, we will discuss about the nitrogenous base. There are four types of nitrogenous bases, adenine, thymine, guanine and cytosine. Adenine and guanine are purines. They both contain a six-membered ring and a five-membered ring, whereas thymine and cytosine are simpler molecules called primidines. These DNA bases pair up to form base pairs. The adenine always pairs up with thymine and cytosine always pairs up with guanine. Similar to the way the order of letters in the alphabets can be used to form a word, the order of nitrogenous bases in a DNA sequence forms genes which tells the cells the way to make proteins. The next part of the nucleotide is a sugar molecule. Each base is attached to a sugar molecule. In DNA, it is called deoxyribose sugar, whereas in RNA molecule, it is called oxyribose sugar. The third part is a phosphate group.
As now we have understood what a nucleotide is and what its parts are, we can think the double helix as a ladder in which the size can be considered as the phosphate and the sugar molecules and the bases would be the rungs of this ladder. The DNA ladder usually twists to the right that is it is dextrorotatory the dna within each cell is almost 2 meters long but it is constrained in no more than 0.09 mm to fit inside the cells DNA is coiled tightly to form structures called chromosomes. Each chromosome contains a DNA molecule. An interesting fact about DNA is that if the DNA in the entire human body is put end to end, it would reach to the sun and back over 600 times. Isn't it amazing? An important property of DNA is that it can replicate and make copies of itself. When cells divide, each new cell needs to have an exact copy of DNA present in the old cell. DNA can face mutations. Failure to repair DNA can lead to cancer or cell death. About 1 million times per cell per day DNA is damaged in the body but the body has an elaborate and constantly active system to repair it. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment for queries and suggestions. Thank you.